What's going on everybody? It's DJ Sketch and welcome back to the channel. I know we've been taking a little bit of a break from uh, reviews the last few weeks, but uh, we're back baby, we're back. And uh, first I want to take a look at a newish indie game that came out I guess late last year on I'm playing of the Xbox One version that you're seeing on your screens right now. And uh, it's available on the PC and Switch and the PS4 as well. I'm talking about Shik Hondo Soul Eater. This one is a Korean developed bullet hell shoot 'em up game released in August of 2018, developed by Deer Farm Studios and published by Digirati Distribution. This is a shoot 'em up that's actually rooted in Korean, Chinese, and Japanese mythology, and uh, with its enemy designs and the influence of the level design itself it's very easily recognizable and also it's very easy to appreciate because it's got a very stylish kick to it visually this game is really really interesting the style this game has is very unique I really haven't seen a shoot 'em up game quite like this one and uh, also if you've been following this channel for a little while now you'll definitely know that I am very much a fan of shoot 'em up games so this one you can either play as the death angel or a very powerful young priestess and take out enemies to absorb their souls which power up new abilities and attacks for your characters. This game honestly reminded me a lot at a glance of Ikaruga and Chaos Field. Like they play very very similar to one another. As it was also two of my also favorite bullet hell games of all time. That's two of them. The mechanics aside from the polarity switching it feels very similar when you're playing through Shikondo. It's honestly the way, like, it's like the whole like bullet structure works. It's honestly the one you want to get closer to enemy shots to charge up your pretty much your, like massive screen clear blast. And uh, once you do that, and once you actually kind of figure out how everything works, it makes going through the five levels fairly comfortable. And it's not very, not too too difficult for newcomers either. This being a bullet hell game, that's actually a lot more forgiving than most. So even the, on normal. Seasoned vets and newcomers alike shouldn't have a terrible time trying to finish its arcade mode. The gameplay works a little different than most shoot 'em ups as well, so a single button press gives you a more spread out fire pattern, and if you hold down the right trigger, it'll actually hone your firepower in for a more like a uh, charged up shot, so to speak. You know, it actually deals with a lot of more sustained power, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this adds a little bit more of an element of strategy to what you're shooting along with a properly timed soul collect. You can also use like a pretty much almost essentially screen clearing attack, which is actually very, very good and deals heavy damage to bosses. And also in this game, bosses can have two forms. One being a somewhat warm up to the second being usually about three to four times more powerful. The first couple stages will ease players into the game, but by stage three, the bosses get rather intricate with their attack patterns. Boss designs with their often anthropomorphic form are also pretty sick looking to be honest. And there's sometimes some simple animations but when the ones that get more intricate towards the end they also be very very cool to look at. The stage 4 boss is also off the chain. Speaking of which, the music in this game is also a cross between Eastern Flare and bass laden almost dubstep type beats in some occasions. And uh, the stage 4 theme actually sounds a lot like something that Kavinsky or even Perturbator would put on a soundtrack if they were asked to do a game. And uh, sound effects also for the most part have a fairly good amount of oomph, but uh, there could some of the sounds could be a little bit better I think, but even still there's really not much of a downside with that. Actually the explosions and actual shots themselves actually sound pretty cool in this game. The only real downside that I can honestly think of with this game is that there isn't much of a story to go off of unless you take it upon yourself to look at the description and read up on the game yourself. And uh, that's, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, you know. Just considering if you can actually find interviews pertaining to Shikondo and the studio that put it together, they actually have a lot of really like interesting things to say as far as like why they took the certain design choices that they did and other interesting things they wanted to just actually just bring to designing a shoot 'em up game in this day and age. Otherwise, for a budget title, you have a rather solid release that will keep even the season pro going for a no hit run while also being a challenge yes but also being forgiving enough with the exception of losing your high score like if you do like lose all your stocks it's also very approachable for a newcomer so for this one honestly i'd say a chicondo soul eater on xbox one i'm gonna give this one a eight out of ten this one is definitely a must play for shoot 'em up fans that like a challenge and also like a nice cheap game on the same note 
So uh, this one, if you can find a copy of it, especially a physical one, I'd say go for it. It shouldn't be very expensive. Because I know I got this for 5 bucks while it was on a, I believe it was Game Pass, or some kind of deal where the price was like basically cut in half. So it's like a $10 game. Maybe if you can find a physical, maybe 15 ish or so. But uh, also, like I said before, it's also available on the Nintendo Switch, the PC, and PS4. If you found this review helpful, that's fantastic. I'm glad you can use this as a resource. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.